In vernacular British English and Irish English, the Antipodes is sometimes used to refer to Australia and New Zealand, and Antipodeans to their inhabitants. The Antipodeans were a group of Australian modern artists who asserted the importance of figurative art, and protested against abstract expressionism. They staged a single exhibition in Melbourne during August 1959. History The Antipodeans group consisted of seven modern painters and the art historian Bernard Smith, who compiled the Antipodea Manifesto, a declaration fashioned from the artist's comments as a catalogue essay to accompany their exhibit. The artists were Charles Blackman, Arthur Boyd, David Boyd, John Brack, Robert Dickerson, John Percival and Clifton Pugh. All except Dickerson were Melbourne-based, several of them being members of the Hyde Circle that had governed the Melbourne branch of the Contemporary Art Society since the early 1940s. Notably, they did not exhibit in the CAS's own gallery, as the Society opposed the show, but chose instead to use the premises of the rival Victorian Artists Society, long a bastion for cultural conservatism in Melbourne. The Antipodea Manifesto was a reaction to the considerable public success of the museum exhibition, The New American Painting, an authoritative survey of abstract expressionism organized by New York's Museum of Modern Art, which was touring Europe over 1958 to Euro 59. The Australian painters feared that American abstraction was becoming the new orthodoxy, and that intolerance towards the modernist figurative art they practiced was increasing internationally. Their manifesto therefore warned against the uncritical adoption by artists of overseas fashion, American abstract expressionism in particular. The manifesto took its central stand on the cardinal importance of the image, the manifesto was seen by some local artists and critics at the time as a statement in favour of conservatism and reaction, and as a call to isolate Australia from international art. Their case was not helped by the fact that they were all enjoying some commercial success, as against their immediate rivals who were struggling. Some members resigned from the Antipodeans group during the exhibition, and have viewed their participation in it with embarrassment ever since. Nevertheless, with the assistance of British Museum director Kenneth Clark, works by group members were included in a 1961 exhibition entitled Recent Australian Painting at the White Chapel Gallery in London. They felt vindicated by their inclusion in this exhibition, which established that contemporary Australian painting had a well-founded national identity. In the months after the Antipodeans exhibition, Boyd, Percival and Blackman all moved to London, and established successful exhibiting careers on the European scene. In 1961 a group calling themselves Sydney Niner Euro, which included the Australian abstract artists Hector Gilliland, Carl Plate, Leonard Hessing, Stan Rappertk, John Olson, Robert Clippel, Clement Meadmore and Bill Rose a Euro held an exhibition of paintings and sculpture to counter the Antipodeans group. The group also recruited a young critic, Robert Hughes to oppose the stance of Bernard Smith. In 1999 the now internationally known art movement Stuckism was founded, which among other preceding art movements draws on the principles of the Antipodeans. See also, Art of Australia, Stuckism in Australia. References, Bernard Smith, The Antipodea Manifesto, Essays in Art and History. Oxford University Press, Melbourne, 1975. External links, article by Deborah Clark, Grove Dictionary of Art.